In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your computer screen for free. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So in this video, I'm going to break down the two softwares that I basically use to record all my tutorials and how you can also use that to record your computer screen for educational purpose for presentations and for tutorials if you want to start a youtube channel so we are going to basically make use of two softwares that i use the first one is going to be active presenter which i've used since i started my youtube channel and the second one is going to be the software that i actually use to edit my video and it is called wondershare filmora there is an inbuilt screen recorder over there so i'm going to show you how to use both softwares to record your screen and at the end of the day you're going to decide on which one to pick so let's get started currently i'm recording with the wondershare filmora software so i'm going to use that to illustrate how to use the active presenter and afterwards we're going to use the active presenter to illustrate how to use the wondershare filmora so let's get started now the name of the software is called active presenter it is for free but then it actually has some limitations if you want to record an unlimited amount of time you have to buy a product key so that you can activate your software i'll leave link in the description if you want to download this particular software and start trying it out now once you open the app you're going to see something quite similar like this it looks like powerpoint presentation and of course that's because you can also use it for powerpoint presentations so once you open the software here you are going straight to the record video section because that is the focus of this video so we are going to click on record a video once you click on that it is going to open this record this small panel over here for you and there are a couple of things that you can do over here let's take time to explore that so the first thing that you can do is you can record a full screen size of your computer so once you select this it is going to record the full screen size of your computer if you don't want it that way and then you want to record a specific part of your computer for instance i just want to record to the very middle section of my computer only i can select the costume part and then it is going to bring this particular option for me to crop to the side that i want so i can select it up to let's say this point so once we choose this part it is going to only record the parts that we've selected additionally you can just go ahead and input in the size if you know the size that you want but mostly i do use the full screen because i want it to capture the entire screen of my computer the next thing we look at is the webcam so if you are recording your screen and you want to show yourself without having a camera or something you can use the webcam section over here once you turn it on it is going to use your laptop's webcam or if you are using a desktop and you have a webcam mounted on it it is going to use that to capture you so as you are recording the screen it is recording you and sometimes it makes it lively if you want to do it that way now at the audio section you are giving options you are giving the chance to record with your laptop's speaker or if you have a microphone mounted like i do now you can record from an external microphone and it is so very easier to use because for instance if you have an external microphone i currently use a condenser usb microphone so once you plug it into your device it automatically shows over here and before you record you can test for instance you see that once i keep talking it keeps going up and down like that and then you can reduce the audio size a little bit if you don't want it to be that very loud and you can as well open it up if you want it to be very very loud so this shows that the microphone is working and that you can go ahead and start recording also if you want to use the audio system or the audio headphone you can come to the system audio here and choose the speaker or headphone so it is going to use your device's speaker or headphone if you don't want to record sound at all you are just going to turn the microphone off and then you are good to go when you click on the settings icon over here you can go to some more advanced settings for instance you can set the frame rate at which you want to record your video 
now you can set the quality you can set the audio sample rate if you want to record at a mono or stereo you can set it all over here at a keza you can choose to record your mouse keza so that you can see that my keza is moving on and off on the screen if i turn this one off when i start recording you're not going to see the mouse keza but the actions will be taking place now you can also come here to set some sort of shortcuts for yourself so if you want to use let's say b c d on your keyboard to stop the recording you can use that you can set over here p let's say p for instance will pause the recording and um, let's say s will stop the record so you can set all the keys over here and if you make any changes from this that you're not really interested or you don't like you can go back to restore everything to default and once you're done with everything that you want to do over here you can go ahead and save and then we can come back to this portion and then we can go ahead and click on this small record button and then it will start recording now everything we do here is going to record it is recording the entire screen so once i start recording if i'm making a photoshop tutorial i can go inside of my photoshop for instance and then it is going to capture everything that i do over here the beauty of this is it can record different applications at the same time so for instance if i'm recording photoshop tutorial i can minimize it and then i can come to my home screen i can open a different folder to show you the resources that i'm using if i want to make use of the notepad i can open that as well at the same time since i'm using wondershare filmora to record this i can also come into wondershare and i can even open my browser over here to show you all the things that you need to do so you can record from different applications at the same time with active presenter now once you're done with everything that you want to record and then you want to stop it if you've already set your hotkeys or you've set your shortcut you can use the shortcut to stop or pause it but if you've not set it once you come to your taskbar at the show hidden icons here you click on it and then you can see that i have the active presenter over here so i'm going to click on that and i'm going to see that i've currently recorded one minute 59 seconds over here the microphone shows that i'm my sound is clear everything is intact and then it shows the video mode and the frame rate at which i'm recording so once i record to the points that i want all that i need to do is go to the stop here and then it is going to stop for me now once you click on stop it is going to bring you to the active presenter software and then it is going to arrange like this for you now i said earlier that this looks like a powerpoint presenter so you see how it actually opens for you now you can also use the same software to edit your videos but i don't use this software to edit my videos but if you want to save yourself some time you can use the option that has provided that has been provided for you over here for instance you can use the timeline here to edit your video this is the audio this is your video and this is so easy if you are using an external microphone because it records the sound automatically over here especially if you have a clear sound you can automatically just go ahead and edit your videos here you can insert test you can insert shapes you can insert another video you can insert audio and even videos over here so many things that you can insert over here but then if you don't want to use this particular software to edit your video and you want to use a, a third party software then you'd have to first export this video before you can import it into your third party software so how do you export this first you go to the export over here and then you choose video now the general here is going to open for you and then you are giving the option to make all these changes like you did when you're starting the video so if you don't want to make any changes to what you recorded that is with a video size then you are just going to jump straight to the output how do you want the output to be so you can basically export in about five different outputs and the most common ones that i use are the mp4 and then the avi so i actually select mp4 and then you are going to select your output file so this time around i have a very specific folder that i export my videos to but then if you want to export it to a different place you can click on browse here 
go to let's say desktop and then we can choose the format that we want to export it to and then we can give it a name let's say testing and then we can go ahead and save it now once you are done you just go ahead and click on ok and then it is going to export for you it takes a bit of time depending on the length of your video to export so i'm going to just fast forward this place and see you when it is done exporting now once it is done exporting you see this notification over here that says that export to video exported successfully so you can just go ahead to preview or go straight to the output container or the output file but since we know that we exported to desktop we can just go ahead and click on no and go to our desktop so we're going to minimize this and we see that our video is here. now we can use this video send it to our video editor and then we can go ahead and edit it the sound everything is recorded inside of this it exports everything together so we can send it straight into our video editor and start editing this video before then this is the quality of the video that we just recorded with the active presenter now everything we do here is going to record it is recording the entire screen so once i start recording if i'm making a photoshop tutorial i can go inside of my photoshop for instance and then it is going to capture everything that i do over here now the active presenter like i said in the very beginning is free software it allows you to record when you download it first it you can record to about 15 minutes or so it depends sometimes you are limited so you can see here that it says that you are using the free version or trial version of active presenter some output will be watermarked now if you record more than let's say 15 10 to 15 minutes your video is likely to be watermarked but if you want to purchase the lenses software you are giving some more options that you can enjoy the benefits of buying the lenses now once you export your video the video has been exported already but you are likely to lose your files or your exported video so you can as well save this particular file as an active presenter file in that case anytime you lose your exported video you can go back to the active presenter file and then you can open it and re-export your video now let me break that down it is like editing a video and then you export the video to be like a full video ready to be posted to youtube or sent to the client now you're going to save that particular video if you are using wondershare Filmora, adobe premiere pro you are going to save that edited footage that that contains the timeline and everything first before you export it to video so that is how it applies here you save this as a backup file so that when you lose your final work you can go back to this and then export it back to mp4 or avi or any format that you want to use so to do that all that you need to do is go to active presenter and then you can save it as or save your if you've not saved it already you can save it as so let's save it as and then you can choose your locations so you can see that it saves as an active presenter project and this is the file format and then you can save that so that is it for active presenter how to record your video with active presenter it's very easy to use and i recommend this if you are a beginner and you are starting out tutorials now we are going to use active presenter to illustrate how to use the wondershare Filmora inbuilt screen recording app so to make use of the wondershare Filmora app the first thing you're going to need is the wondershare Filmora software and a link will be in the description if you want to download that this is the wondershare Filmora 9 but if you are using any latest version it also works the same way so once you open the software you go straight to the file over here and then you see record media you select record media and then you see record pc screen you're going to select that and as you can see you can also use that to record your voice over so we are going to select record pc screen and we are going to be welcomed with this mini bar that we are going to make the setting so it is pretty similar to active presenter either of them works so very fine for me like the active presenter you are given the option to record a full screen and you can use that particular option or you can choose customize over here 
and you are going to customize or select the portion that you want to record and just like i said we record full screen over here so it has just picked up my computer screen this is the full screen of my computer the next thing that you can actually work over here is the sound so now i'm recording from my microphone so you can see how it actually looks over here if you don't want to use your microphone you can choose this particular one here that uses the speaker headphone that is your computer speaker or your headphone so you can record with that as well and when you click on the settings icon you are given a couple of options so you can select the folder that you want it to save to once it is done recording now unlike the active presenter the wondershare femora app records and saves straight as an mp4 file so you don't have to first save it and then export it to an mp4 and that is one advantage of using the wondershare femora app so you are giving the option to select your frame rate and since we are not recording we are not going to do any slow-mo we can record at 25 frames per second for the quality you are giving the option to select good better or best and the higher the quality the higher the size or the storage size as well you can set a timer for it so let's say when you record 30 minutes it should stop and once you set it over here automatically it is going to stop but since you don't know the number of hours or minutes you are going to record you can just check that off next is the mouse for the mouse you can still leave this one off and it will sh it will still show like this but once you choose the show mouse clicks it is going to actually use like a pointer so when you click on a particular point it is going to give you a sort of animation so i'm just going to leave this one on and we will see from what we record and then you can also choose to play the mouse click so that anytime you click it is going to give you a particular sound you can see that since i'm recording from an active presenter and i'm not using the mouse click even if i left click or i click it is it doesn't give us any sound that is what the mouse click here does and just like the active presenter you can give it your own hotkey or your shortcut so once everything is done here we are all good to go the very most important thing that you have to check is your sound because you can talk like 30 minutes and at the end of the day you realize that your sound wasn't recording it is a really hectic experience so once you're done with everything you can just go ahead and click on this red icon here and it will start recording so this particular timer is going to show and automatically it just starts recording straight away and just like the active presenter this also records in multiple softwares so i can go from my photoshop straight to my browser and then i can go from my browser also straight into even the wondershare filmora itself so you can use the wondershare filmora recording software to record a wondershare filmora tutorial isn't that just amazing and once you get to the points that you want once you're done with your recording you can just go straight over here click on the show hidden icons and then you can see this small icon here that is the wondershare recorder icon so you can click on that and then it will say open recorder so once you open the recorder you can see the number of minutes if recorded so far you can pause it if you want if you don't want to show a particular process in your video and then you can play it back once you get to once you resume and once you're done recording you can just click on stop here and then the beauty of this is that it automatically brings it straight into the wondershare filmora app so for a person like myself who edits in wondershare filmora once i bring it in here i can straight away drag it to the timeline and start editing so it makes my work so easy i don't have to actually export it to a different format before i bring it into a third party app and that is one advantage that i recently started recording with the wondershare filmora app and the quality also is very great this is a footage of what we recorded with the wondershare filmora app and automatically it just starts recording straight away so yes the wondershare filmora app is also very great to record your videos now one advantage is that even whilst you are recording your and you realize that you need a quick screen recording to place into your video you can easily go ahead and start recording or start to record something into your video and it can automatically join the footage that you are recording and it makes your work so very easy
so the two softwares has their own advantages and disadvantages but it depends on you the user and your time and your resources available that you decide on which one to use at which particular point in time for instance without using the two softwares together i wouldn't have been able to record this video because i had to use this to explain that and use that to explain this I, I don't know if that makes sense but yes those are the two softwares that i use there are of course other softwares like obs screen recorder and even the inbuilt windows 10 screen recorder which you can access by pressing on ctrl g and it is going to bring this particular one here for you so yes i'll leave links to other recording softwares free recording softwares in the description if you want to download any of them and make use for your tutorials for your presentations and for your school projects i hope this video was helpful if it was a subscribe to the channel will be so very much appreciated thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye